managing all of your social networks with elegance today on Dotto Tech. Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? At Dotto Tech, we make technology easy so you can do more, like learn a new language. How about French? Parlez-vous français? Now I've got a question for you. Have you yet subscribed to this channel? If not, now is your opportunity. Please subscribe and ring the notification bell so you'll be informed when we upload new videos. Now today's topic is social media dashboards and I'm gonna show you the social media dashboard that I use. Now there are a lot of social media dashboards out there. The one that I'm gonna talk about today is Agora Pulse. Now in the spirit of full disclosure, I'm more than just a fanboy of Agora Pulse. I'm one of their ambassadors. We have a relationship with Agora Pulse, meaning that whenever I get an opportunity to tell people about the great things that are in Agora Pulse, I do, such as in this video right now. Now I wanna to talk to you about three specific areas today because I'm assuming that if you're this far into this video, you are interested in power using a social media dashboard. So the thing I wanna to talk to you about is managing conversations, I wanna to talk to you about publishing, and I also wanna to talk to you about measuring your key metrics. Three aspects that Agora Pulse excels. And we're gonna start with managing conversations. And this is the feature that first drew me to Agora Pulse. Agora Pulse, I think, does a brilliant job of allowing us to stay on top of all of the different conversations that are happening in social. Now here's how it works. You have all of your social platforms, as you expect, down the side. And then if you choose the inbox feature with any social platform, it brings you into all of the conversations happening in that platform. And at this point here, we can manage those conversations much the same as you would a threaded conversation in an email client. It's really quite ingenious and very effective. You can quickly kind of do conversation triage where you go through each post or each comment and determine how you want to react to it. You can simply just say, oh, I like this post and then review it. Now this review concept here, by the way, I'm using Twitter right now. This review concept is ever so important because typically speaking, you're in a team environment where multiple people may be managing an account. And what you don't want to have happen is for every person to go in to see all of the posts, including the ones that have been dealt with and not know if a conversation has actually been addressed. By reviewing this, the next person who goes into this account using Agora Pulse uh, will see, we'll not see that post at all. It'll have been dealt with unless it needs to be assigned to somebody. Do you see here we have this assign feature? We can choose any of our team members here and assign any conversation to that team member. So if one of my team members is going through all of our Twitter, our Twitter feed and they see something that's personal for me or something that only I can deal with, they can assign that conversation to me and then it will appear in my assign tab here in my inbox so that I know this is something that I have to deal with. This is a very elegant way of making sure that nothing slips through the cracks. And also, we don't waste a lot of time kind of going over the same ground over and over again. It's a very elegant way to deal with your conversations. I don't know how I missed this or how recent this particular new feature is, but they've added the ability to monitor all of the conversations that are happening in your Facebook ads. Now this has been a problem for me for a little while. We've been running Facebook ads for a while and monitoring the conversation since the Facebook ads don't appear in my Facebook feed has been something that I've had to actually pay attention to. I gotta go in and look at the ads and see what conversations are happening in the ads. But look at this. Agora Pulse gives me the ability to integrate my Agora Pulse account with my Facebook ads account, not just my Facebook account, but my ads account, so that I can see all of those hidden post ads, all of the conversations happening in them, and lordy, 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 I have 84 comments in my, in my Facebook ads that I wasn't even aware of because I haven't checked them recently enough. But now, all of my ads, all of the, the dialogue that's happening within my ads, I can go in and I can address, I can reply to, I can like, I can manage them far more effectively. This is internet marketing gold. Managing conversations, probably my favorite feature in Agora Pulse. The next feature I wanna to talk to you about is publishing, managing the publishing of your posts to different social platforms. And if we take a look here, we've got a, a kind of a master button that allows us to bring in a publish compose window that really tells us everything we need to know. We can choose which of our social profiles we want to publish to, including, yes indeed, we can publish to Instagram directly now out of Agora Pulse. 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner on that. Uh, you can publish to multiple platforms at the same time or just choose a single platform to publish to. And when you create a post, you have a variety of different options other than just publishing it immediately. Although you can certainly do that. Let me show you down here in the bottom what you can do. You can publish this now, you can add it to a queue, or you can schedule it. Each of these, very powerful. But the one that I use the most is adding to a queue. Let me show you what happens there. When we go to add something to a queue, it allows us to either queue this next in the sequence of posts that are going to happen in that publishing queue. And I'll show you what the queue looks like in a moment. Or you can queue it last. Now this category is user defined. I've created these categories for my Twitter profile. So each of these categories are places that I probably want to create posts that I might want to post multiple times. Now, depending on the terms of service with the social platform you're engaging in, you have to be careful of repeating the same post over and over again. But let me walk you through the concept of what these cues look like. I'll take you into the categories in a moment, but I want to show you one other feature. You can set it up to requeue multiple times. So you can have it requeue X number of times all the way up to an unlimited number of times where you say that it's stopping publishing after a certain date. Now, and I'm going to step over into the publishing tab and show you my cues for Twitter. So this is a series of cues for Curated content, this is when I look for other people's content that my community might be interested in. The demo category is all of my existing demos, uh, videos that are current that I want to be sharing. Promotions where I'm promoting different things that we do. Uh, Google demos when it's focused on Google and my vlog. But if we go into any one of these, if we say go into the curated content, you can see that I have a whole bunch of control over this category. I can say how often to repeat tweets. You can skew how much of a gap you want in your content before you repost something. But we can create a calendar of and a roster of tweets that we're going to be sending on a daily basis. You can create this list manually as I've shown you, or you can also use the bulk uploading feature let me, where you can import a CSV file an RSS feed, say from your blog, from your own blog posts, or you can also bulk import all of the digital assets that you're going to be using in that campaign, saving you a massive amount of time in creating and composing the posts. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is the reports area. And we can just go into my reports. Let's go into my reports on Twitter. When we go into the reports area, it will generate reports on multiple aspects, telling you about your engagement, your network growth, when tweets are being published in, in the case of Twitter, what your engagement is at different times. So you can analyze the effectiveness of all of your different campaigns, not just looking at the content that you're sending out, but how is it relating to fans and followers. And Agora Pulse will actually track and tell you who's most engaged with you, who is what they call your ambassador, the people who are really amplifying your content. These three areas, the, the concept of managing all of our conversations, of more effectively publishing, and then knowing the results of our activities on social media, they are three of the aspects that make Agora Pulse such a powerful publishing tool and such a powerful social media tool. I hope you found today's video to be useful and we've opened your eyes to some of the additional capabilities of Agora Pulse. Remember, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to Dotto Tech and let us know what you think in the comments below. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.